So I'm just going to show you how to install GNOME extensions and demo my top five extensions that I've been using. This is uh, assuming you're running Arch with the, the GNOME shell installed on top. Um, but the, the first thing you'll want to install is the GNOME shell extensions app, which uh, you can do by opening up a terminal, terminal and just typing GNOME shell extensions. So I'll include all of these commands in the description so you can copy paste. Um, but yeah, it's going to close that. And if I show you the extensions app, you can just search it there, but yeah, it's already open. And this, this uh, front end just allows you to enable or disable any of the extensions that uh, you've downloaded or are built in. So yeah, you can see here, if I uh, disable the applications menu in the top left, or the floating dock that I've installed, or if you just want to remove them all, there's a slider up here. So, yeah. And the first extension I'm going to show you is user themes. Uh, this is pretty self explanatory, it just allows you to um, customize the look and feel of GNOME. Uh, there is an application that I use to manage my themes, which um, I'd recommend getting, which is GNOME Tweaks. So to install that, just sudo pacman option s gnome tweaks. And again, I'll include this in the description so you can uh, just paste it. Password. But yeah, so gnome tweaks looks like this. So you've got a bunch of tabs here. I think the most important one you want to look at is appearance. Uh, these are themes that I've downloaded. Uh, this just allows me to uh, switch between them and uh, if I want to change the themes. To be honest, I, pr I prefer Adwita. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, dark. Um, but yeah, gives it a nice dark theme. It's not too harsh in my eyes. But uh, to download themes, I've been using gnomelook.org. Have a browser here. Uh, you've got a bunch of different Themes you can download, you can get icons, shell themes, different cursors. But yeah, just have a browse and uh, download the, the themes that suit your style. So the second extension we're going to look at is Floating Dock. This is a nice replacement for the default dock that comes with GNOME. I'll just show you what it looks like when it's off. Um, so yeah, if you press uh, the Windows key, um, you can see that brings up the standard GNOME dock, but with it enabled, got a nice uh, nice dock that shows uh, on top all of the time. Um, there's a bunch of different settings you can do here. Uh, position on screen, so if you want it on the left. Um, if you want to change your icon size, etc. Uh, but yeah, have a browse through and apply the settings that, uh, that suit you. The third extension we're going to look at is Arch Linux Updates Indicator. This is uh, just a pretty useful indicator just to show when new packages are out. Uh, you can see I've got it enabled and up here, saying 15 updates are pending. Click there, you can see the, um, the packages that it's going to update. If I just click Update Now, opens up a terminal, pop in my pseudo password, and yeah, nice and easy. Still, sort of the latest packages. Um, just make sure you're keeping an eye on, on what you're updating. Um, obviously, you want to make sure you know what's going on your machine um, and if you actually want to update those. So, yeah, if I proceed with installation, hit Y, give it a minute. Depends on what it's updating. Obviously, different packages are uh, different sizes. So, I'll just go through the motions. And give it a second. Boom, hit enter, and that's it. You can see now we've got a tick in the top right corner to show that we're up to date and a little smiley face now. So the fourth extension I'm gonna show you is, it's pretty straightforward, it's a simple one. This is a built-in extension, and that is the applications menu. Just uh, gives you a 
another way of you know browsing your apps and if you've uh, come from windows you'll find this is more familiar uh, but yeah you can just uh, enable that here it, again it's a built-in but yeah without it you're uh, just kind of limited to the dock so i always find this one quite useful so the fifth and final extension i'm going to show you is caffeine it's quite a simple app and um, it's pretty well known uh, but it just allows you to disable screensaver and auto suspend um, so yeah stops your computer going to sleep which is uh, can be useful in certain situations <laughs>